Today we are taking a first class train. This will be our first time ever. First things first though, we gotta get to one train station, transfer it to another train station, buy our tickets. It's freezing cold, it's raining. This is going to be uh, nothing short of a cold, wet, and exciting adventure. You could do cartwheels if you wanted. It's magical, it's giant, and I've never felt more in my prime. <laughs> You know, so far, nothing about walking in the freezing rain, dragging your luggage around a city feels first class. So, things can only go up from here, huh? We found the first station, frigid. I would do a happy dance, but I feel like you would just be shivering. We found the first station. Finding the station is one thing, buying the correct ticket, whole different ball game. We had a 50-50 of choosing the correct side for the platform. We chose wrong. Kinetic curse, am I right? Never fails to strike. But we're moving now. There's only two platforms and if we're going the right one, so I can try. One thing you should absolutely know about Switzerland is everything in Switzerland is first class. So I'm actually really curious to see what the first class, the actual first class experience in Switzerland is, Switzerland is like because so far, our second class experience on the trains has surpassed any first class experience of any transportation of any type we have ever taken. So I don't know if it's gonna be mind blowing or if it's just gonna be like just a little bit better than second class, which is already very nice. But I mean, look at this train. But these first tickets are second class tickets that are just gonna get us to the main station. From the main station, it's a longer ride, about a, an hour to our destination of Lucerne, Switzerland, via first class. Dieser Zug fährt weiter als S24 nach Wittingen, Zürich, Flughafen, Weinfelden. That's our stop. Next stop, Zurich oh. Main Station. Oh. This train. Why do we choose this seat? Medica fan. <laughs> Greg knows how to find them. They're everywhere. <laughs> That's Mexico, ah. nice. Can wow. on camera? Sure. He's really repping, representing Mexico and Switzerland. <laughs> <laughs> Made it to the main station. The problem with the main station is there are a ton of platforms. We're looking for platform number 10. First, we need to buy our actual ticket. Greg just told me off camera, it looks more promising like the further down we go. <laughs> off street level and actually i think he's probably just saying that because it's warm wow it goes down even further which looks even warmer i'm not sure if we're in like the first class section of the train station or <laughs> no i think this is just the train station it is like a mall under here i don't remember seeing this because when we arrived to zurich i feel like we were very flustered from the eight hour trip from Munich. Wow, we Zowie, I see something for platform 10. Right there. We found it. Can't believe it. We have found our platform and we have about 15 minutes to figure out where to buy a ticket and make it back to our platform. You would think that 15 minutes would be plenty of time, but we're hustling because you should never underestimate public transportation in a foreign country. Not that you would, but you should never because it's like a whole underground world, quite literally. And this sign behind me is precisely why you should never underestimate traveling in a foreign country. That's a lot of platforms and a lot of destinations. Got the tickets. Who knows if we'll have any money left on the entire trip. <laughs> Greg and I have been saving a few of like our little ticket stubs and things like this. And we definitely got a printed receipt because this baby is like the cost of framed art. So this one's going in a frame. We are heading down to the first class waiting area. <laughs> it's all one platform, but we are going down to where we believe the first class train is going to pull up 
right in front of us because I don't want to walk any extra gold plated water fountain for the first class people. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> How first class are you? Wow. That. That tastes like first class water. Upstairs, first class. This is the life. No one really else is in here. And uh, so it's like, it's worth paying the extra little bit of francs because it's like we have our entire own train car. Look at this. You could do cartwheels if you wanted. It's magical. It's giant. And I've never felt more in my prime. <laughs> we are on our way to Lucerne. First things first, quick tour of our first class uh, cabin, if you will. There's this little lever on the side. Uh, gives you a little, little recline. We need to speed up the tour because this ride's only 45 minutes. Oh, oh. Here we have a workstation. I think second class doesn't fold out. Not one, but two couches. And it looks like there are four seats on one side, two seats on the other. Very spacious. While in first class, you have to eat first class snacks. These are first class big bars. First class big bars, not included in first class ticket. Let's take a quick tour through second class. All right, based on my analysis of walking around second class, what you're paying for in first class is that not many people book these tickets. It was definitely a lot busier down there. The seats, the seats seem slightly bigger and mostly there's just more room to spread out up here. Is it worth it? I don't know, but we're gonna enjoy it. I think it's totally worth it depending on how little you like other people. Like for me, to be around less people, totally worth it. Excellent first first class experience until a moment we got off the train. Now we're out here with all the second class guests. Just rushed into the frenzy. Busy, busy second class passengers. Wow, it's just as confusing here. We've made it to Lucerne, Switzerland, amigos. This is going to be our next jumping off point for some of our upcoming adventures. Look at it. It is absolutely beautiful. Very first thought medieval but we'll leave some of the, the exploring lucerne to a different day my thoughts on the first class train very very nice but like i said at the beginning the second class was nice too so will we be taking first class again that's a question for our accountant no <laughs> <laughs> we probably won't be taking first class again just because it was only about ten dollars more a ticket but for as many little train rides that we're gonna do the second class was so nice that we don't really need the extra little room but it was a cool experience to do once you know would i recommend it to everybody no not necessarily i don't know when you're in switzerland why not we are walking to our next airbnb we're hoping we can find it with relative ease and he goes i've been promised a most delicious and most economical chicken schnitzel. Is that correct? 
chicken schnitzel sandwich. A chicken schnitzel sandwich that's supposed to be like five francs, which is unheard of cheap for Switzerland. So we'll see. Thank you. You never know where following your bucket list will take you. In our case today, it took us on a first class train and it took us to the streets of Lucerne, Switzerland. I don't want to spoil our thoughts on Lucerne, Switzerland just yet. However, I do have to give you a replay of uh, what I just heard. No, you do it. You do the replay. <laughs> okay, Hillary, we're walking around looking at the beautiful streets. She said, I don't know. Kind of like it here better. <laughs> I didn't think it was possible, but wowza. Which is very beautiful. Eating chicken schnitzel. With your main schnitzel. With my main sh schnitzel. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what schnitzel means, so I almost oh. hesitate to say that. <laughs> cannot wait for where our next adventures come from. I think it's gonna be cold, maybe snowy, and very exciting. Oh. <laughs> I didn't really realize checking in was also gonna be a first class experience, but. Bathroom is awesome. We booked the cheapest places we could find <laughs> in Switzerland. Uh, so I was actually pretty worried about what this place was gonna look like. The pictures were okay, but not great, but wow. Wow, it really did not disappoint. Oh. Didn't expect that. I thought it was gonna like open like a normal door. Nope. We'll leave it open, we'll leave it open. This one. This one also does that. Okay, this one opens one more. Not bad, not bad. Greg has carried this giant carabiner around for like years through all of our travels. You never know when you're gonna need it. And he's always told me, you never know when you're gonna need it. Sometimes he puts his hat on it, but other than that, it's literally never been used until now. Dun, 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 dun. The ceremonial use of the giant carabiner. <laughs> Go ahead. Wow. Wow. Uh oh. Wow. Oh, there we go. Look wow. Look, it's back. Look at that. You never know when you're going to need it. Six years we're later. In, we're in Switzerland. I feel like a carabiner is. What? There's a lot of mountain climbing. Nothing says first class like <laughs> this. 